Welcome to Star Citizen and the guide for the new salvage missions. The possibility to modify ship weapons and components with the tractor beam and ultimately also to sell them. Because with the new possibilities from version 3.19, you will become a salvage specialist. We have already presented the salvage mechanics to you in dedicated and comprehensive guides, but from version 3.19 it is possible to use ship weapons, missiles and in the future also components separately from stripping the hull, which offers many new and above all lucrative possibilities. Because as soon as the ship enters the soft dead status, its weapons and missiles can be removed at the hard points with a conventional multi-tool with tractor beam and ultimately also sold. The prerequisite is of course a cargo hold in which you can store the material. In this way, every enemy shutdown becomes an optional lucrative source of income. In order to store large weapons or missiles with the tractor beam in your cargo hold, you have to hold down the R key and rotate them so that they can be stored in a space-saving manner. And of course, it can also be worthwhile to lighten the crew's load accordingly before you optionally work on the wreck or immediately set off to the way to the sail. Because at the usual sales points for ship components, weapons or drives, you also have the possibility to sell corresponding components directly. We choose the Dumpers Depot on Port Olizar and got a bonus of almost 5000 UEC. Mind you, for the smallest possible ship, an Aurora. However, it becomes particularly lucrative if you combine the new salvaging missions, the salvaging contracts, with the sale of ship components such as weapons or mining equipment. As a first variant, we use a legal salvaging mission, where we have to advance a fee of 1000 UEC to secure the location and legal mining rights for an eclipse. Legal salvaging missions give us a direct jump point and an indication of how much material we need to mine to complete the mission, and thus a reputation gain. Legal missions take place in monitored areas, and security forces patrol the area, which provides a certain level of security especially since the jump point is only known to the mission owner. We don't get paid directly, but we can sell the material we have salvaged and the optional components we have taken with us, which alone brings in a good 50,000 Alpha UC. The mission is completed as soon we have salvaged enough material, although it is not necessary to get this material into our cargo hold. So we can also complete the mission by simply leaving the output station blocked, but that only becomes important with another type of missions. Because there are also illegal, clearly more lucrative salvaging missions, whereby we already have to pay 10,000 Alpha USC in start fees and then also have to deal with a timer. However, we do not run the direct risk of being charged a crime set for this, as this risky salvage mission is not a direct illegal act. However, we should hurry, because after the timer expires, some competition appears very quickly and immediately reacts in a hostile manner. But the risk can pay off very quickly, as you can take a significantly higher amount of salvage material already with a constellation. Weapons and components worth a good 50,000 Alpha UC as a bonus. This means that we very quickly reach a profit of around 100,000 Alpha UC for a short salvaging mission. And depending on how close the timer is to the end, we can also do without one or two crates of salvage material in order to be able to complete the mission before the timer runs out. Because especially the larger and riskier salvage missions usually offer larger ships as targets, which in addition to a more extensive equipment in the area of weapons, also offer a larger hull area, which can more than fill the cargo space of a Drake Vulture. And the sale of the standard main armament alone provides 44,000 Alpha UEC as an addition source of revenue. But let's take a look at what happens in this mission type if you fail to complete the mission within the time limit or leave the mission area early. Regarding the detachable components and weapons, you cannot only sell them but also use them yourself or give them to other players. However, these components disappear if your ship is destroyed and especially second-hand mining equipment obtained in this way can pay off very quickly, as you will pay extremely high sums at the dealer depending on the mining laser. If you do not manage to complete the mission within the time limit, you will immediately receive a visit from competitors and their escorts, which will end in inevitable combat. However, you will not receive a crime stat directly. If you beat back the enemies, however, you will automatically receive additional salvage material and components you can use on your own. But the fights with only one vulture are sometimes a strong challenge, 
so it is worth bringing an escort yourself here. And if you leave the mission area before completing the mission, the materials you have salvaged and components you have collected so far can be sold, but the mission itself is considered as a failure and becomes with a loss of reputation. Finally, there is the option of taking a completely open salvage mission, Salvage the Battlefield, where you can explore the battlefield with countless ships to your heart's content. But the catch is that this battle is still in progress and new enemies appear all the time. So, if possible, you should not travel alone, but bring friends with you to watch your back while you go about your work. This offers the perfect combination of different gameplay areas, such as combat combined with industrial gameplay. The income possibilities are enormous, whereby team play is required or you have to bring along a good portion of luck. Because as soon as you leave your ship to collect lucrative weapons and components, you are of course completely defenseless and unprotected. And so, you very quickly become a victim yourself. Here of course it is a good idea not to travel alone, but to load the trophies you have won and the salvage material you have mined, so as not to lose everything. And here we come to another innovation from version 3.19, the direct component and weapon exchange. As soon as a player has released his hard points, we can remove the components with a tractor beam and exchange them for others. This finally makes it possible to change weapons in space or to carry out a quick repair during a pause in the fight. Here too, it is necessary to hold down the R button and rotate the weapons so that they fit on the hard points. However, there is still a catch when changing weapons, because ballistic weapons of course first require ammunition, which is not yet physicalized. However, these extensive new possibilities also offer dangers and opportunities, depending on whether you are a righteous citizen or a pirate lurking about. Because it is more important than ever that you lock all ramps and entrances when leaving your ship and, if possible, also keep your shields activated to keep uninvited visitors away. In principle, it is not possible to remove weapons or components from intact ships that are not in soft dead status. To do so, manual clearance must first be given. And this release is only possible via the ship's cockpit, which makes access necessary, either through a ramp left open or even by force of arms. You can unlock these ports with the key combination of the right ALT or CTRL key and K, or you can hold down the F key and go to the ship's systems menu with the right mouse click to unlock the ports here. Then, however, nothing stands in the way of robbing other players, whereby you can directly remove and sell the attachments in the area of weapons and missiles, right up to individual gimbals. Of course, it is also possible to incapacitate the ship, so to put it into soft dead mode, which is reached as soon as the hit points drop below zero. But beware, if you do further damage, the ship is destroyed and most of the components and the cargo are lost. This quickly led to unpleasant surprises if you were careless and left your ship open. However, the direct sale of player components is not yet reliably possible. This will only change in the next patches. I bid you farewell until next time, <laughs> see you soon and of course, see you in the verse.